Hello everyone, welcome back once again to Career Q, a place to curate your career. In today's video, we will be talking about the most speculated thing that is there in the market that is work from home or work from office. I know that after the government had said that uh, the work from home thing should be extended till December 31, there were many of you thinking that now what will my particular organization do? So in today's video, I will be discussing the organization's point of view or the organization's way of handling this uh, announcement of or what they are doing, what they are not doing, all of these. Uh, if you are new to our channel, then let me tell you that in this channel, we talk all about tech updates, software updates, and organizational updates. If any of these matters are of an interest to you, then you might want to hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you do not miss another video from us. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. So we know that the government has given this permission to uh, extend work from home till December 31, 2023. Now, what are the organizations doing? Let us see one by one. So Infosys, uh, the CEO of Infosys, Mr. Salil Parekh, has clearly said that, you know, they will be uh, relaxing this work from office thing and they will, their employees can continue working from home for some more time. They have actually relaxed and they have reduced the pressure on their employees to come back to office. Now, this is again project to project scenario thing. If the client from your project has demanded their employees to work from office, then this statement holds null and void, okay? Everything, nothing comes above the client's requirements, okay? So if your client wants their employees to be working from office, we cannot or the CEO cannot do anything. They will go in accordance with that. However, if the clients are okay with the fact that they are working from home, then, uh, you know, you can be relaxed for some more time because they have said that they will, you know, after some time they will start this thing. And right now the employees can sit and relax and work from home. This is a very good news from uh, for all the employees who are working in Infosys. Uh, if you are getting a, an extended work from home, big congratulations. Uh, of course, there might be some of the employees who are not happy, but let me tell you that it is not something that your organization is doing. It is something that your client is doing, okay? So you might want to change the project internally. Uh, just kidding. Anyways, uh, moving ahead. So the next organization is TCS. TCS has actually not given this even uh, not given this thing even two cents of theirs and they are really strict uh, strict about employees coming and working back from office. Okay, so TCS has actually made it very clear that if you are um, not coming from and working from office three days a week, that is a hybrid working model, then uh, there will be you will fall under non compliance and that there, there can be repercussions to it as well from the coming year. So uh, bad news for TCS employees because you might have to uh, go to office. Uh, but the good part is that you can report to any office. OK, so the nearest office that is to your place, you can report from there. You need not go to your base location. So if you are someone who is staying in Bhubaneswar and uh, his location is TCS Bangalore, you do not need to come to TCS Bangalore. You can work at TCS Bhubaneswar, but you need to go to office three times a day. There are several other companies such as Accenture and Tech Mahindra, who are calling their employees back to the base location. So these are actually not giving this flexibility as well. They want the employees working from office for two or, uh, for the three days uh, per week. And they want the employees to work not from the nearest office, but from the base location. They are giving the relocation amount that they used to give previously. And they are asking the employees to relocate. So yeah, these are the different uh, um, reactions of the employers. Some are okay with the work from home. Some are not okay with the work from home. Some are very strict. Some are not so strict for work from office. So, you know, different organizations are uh, taking different methods of dealing with this new uh, thing or new regulation that they have, uh, that the government has said. As it is, as I had also said in the previous video, that it is only for SEZs, okay, the special economic zones. So, you know, if your organization or if the office doesn't fall in an SEZ, then it this thing does not apply to you at all. So a lot of these offices, they get segregated in this way only. And even in SEZs, the employers are thinking that if the employees are coming, then why not? Let them come as it is this model or this extension has been given to get the uh, a smooth hybrid working model. So if there are people who are coming or who are who are already coming or they can put pressure and they can bring in more employees, then why not? 
another thing that people are talking about these days is uh, you know the covid is increasing so will we get work from home see guys nothing can be said right now because all we have heard is that these cases are strictly being monitored in the airports and everything uh, the boundaries have not yet closed and of course the government has clearly said that we do not or need not have another lockdown so if there will be no lockdown then probably the work from home thing might not be uh, something that the employers will be giving okay so all you can do for your safety is that whenever you are traveling you are in public when you are in office please try to mask on yourselves and work from office i know it is really frustrating but since we are not having a lockdown and anything we are not getting any regulation from the government itself we cannot or the organizations are not really you know enthusiastic about the announcement and they are not really working on it uh, they are like if people are coming let them come if we can pressurize them and make them come let them come uh, so they are taking that approach and uh, your health and your safety of course you need to take care and i know that covid is increasing and stuffs but we are not hearing anything on the work from home thing or uh, the offices are hell bound to call us back so and uh, if we want to secure our jobs because you know the market is also unstable i think it is good or it is actually sensible to act, uh, you know for the time being agree and do what the organizations want to do and once the market is you know again on the upside then maybe we can go in for a switch and join in an organization that is willing to give us work from home uh, so that's all that i have for you in today's video i hope that you have understood the position of the employers that are there uh, on this work from home thing uh, and if there is anything any other information that you have please put them down in the comment section so that you know everyone gets benefited all our viewers and everyone uh, gets to know about more about these organizations and what they are deciding on also if there is anything with which you want my help and you want to connect with me one to one you can come over to topmid.io uh, and i will try to help you in all possible ways um, the link is there in the description box and also on the screen uh, so do visit me over there in large numbers and that's all that i have for you in today's video uh, if you like the video put a thumbs up if you have not subscribed to the channel don't forget to subscribe and i don't forget to subscribe i'll come again with another new video till then stay tuned to career q thanks for watching take care bye